Yo, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Instinct by Buffalo Boards. This is one of the six new bags that Buffalo released out this year, and I was pretty excited to get my hands. It's one I was really curious about. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with the design here, as always. And, and, and Buffalo does a great job. They have killer designs. This is no exception. This is a great design. Love it. Stands out. Has the Instinct down there. Uh, it's a great design. They, they offer this in several different colors. So if you, if you don't like the red, I think they've got a blue, they've got a black and white. They've got a couple different options there for you. I think they're constantly coming out with more. So if you don't like the color, go check out their website. They've got other ones available for you. This is ACL Pro Stand for 2023, if that matters to you. Uh, this is clearly a carpet bag, which is why there's only one design on one side. We'll start with the materials here. This carpet is the same carpet that Buffalo used on the M1. It's also the same carpet that the, I believe the Neptune uses it, the Contraband Combat uses it. Uh, a lot of companies are starting to use this carpet on their on the carpet bags. It is a, uh, for me, I rate it as a four speed. Buffalo rates it as a five, so four to five range. Speeds are very subjective depending on the conditions, the boards, your throw type, all that stuff. There's not really one set way to measure the speeds of a bag so buffalo says a five i say a four doesn't mean i say they're wrong it's just we're in somewhere in that range but to me it plays like a four uh, fast side if you are familiar with the ambush from buffalo boards the slow side of the ambush this is the same material but they flipped it over so it's the reverse of the ambush slow side is what they put on on this bag uh, it plays, to me, it plays as a six speed. Buffalo rates it a, a seven. So Buffalo says this is a five seven. I say it's a four six. So you're looking somewhere in that range. It's definitely a slower carpet bag for you. Um, all in all, the, the, the materials feel great. I mean, they're both, this, this material softens up nicely and the carpet, once you break it in, it takes a while, but once you break it in, it becomes really soft, very pliable. For a carpet bag, it feels awesome. The template, this is a on the smaller side of templates. And it also, you can see it has the rounded corners, which makes it play even smaller. So it's a smaller, it's, it's a smaller, fuller bag. It, it has some flop to it. Nowhere near as floppy as a Fallout X or a Deadhead. Um, but it's, so if you if you're looking for a smaller, fuller bag, this is a great option for you, especially if you like carpet. Um, it has that Buffalo flat disc fill in there that I, th I think for sure Buffalo uses that same flat disc in all their bags. Um, not positive, but I think that's the case. But it's the same fill that's in the Deadhead, that's in the Fallout, that's in the Ambush, that's in the Crush. I'm trying to think what other bags I've reviewed so far. But yeah, it's that flat disc fill. Black Sheet Baggers uses it. Um, Lucky Bags uses it. A lot of companies have used it. It's a great feeling bag. You put it in your hand, it feels awesome. I love the way it feels. Uh, if it, 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 as far as playability goes, this is definitely a bag where you are you are playing a dirty style game. This is a bag for throwing blockers, for, for just blocking the hole, clogging up the board, creating congestion, and hoping your opponent makes a mistake. And then you bring in your last bag, you flip it over, you throw it hard, and clean up, drag in a couple of your bags, you know, and, and outscore them, you know, seven to to four or eight to four, eight to three, something like that, right? That's kind of what this bag's designed for. And it does a great job. It really does a great job as far as throwing blockers out there. Um, it, it's also really a bag if you're a hard thrower and you're having a hard time finding a bag that doesn't just fly off the back or a bag that, that you can't control the fast side on. This is a great option for hard throwers. It's a great option if you play on fast boards because it is sticky, it does slow down. Uh, being a carpet bag and a slower, you know, to me, these are both kind of on that slower side for bag speeds. It, it does have a tendency to sometimes want to hang on the hole, and it's not really a fault of the bag. It's just because the material's a little stickier. And so if you're going to collect one of these bags, you really got to go a little more at it. You know, just having a bag hanging there and a bag coming in the hole is not really going to drag it in. You've really got to kind of go at it with the to really clip it and take it in. But they are very collectible. Uh, because they're fuller bags, they're not taking up as much real estate in the board throw a blocker out there but because they're fuller they collect really easy like they don't bunch up when you hit they're dragging in it's pretty easy to, to take bags in with it um, i did find that sometimes if 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 you're not careful when you're throwing this slick side to collect you've got to throw it a little harder that's why i'm saying i recommend this really for hard throwers if you don't throw it hard enough which what happens is you're pushing this bag in and you're leaving this bag on there push in place great except for when it's your fourth bag. Your fourth bag, you're trying to collect them both and you believe in that one and you, you, you end up with a bag on the board instead of in the hole. I found that happening a few times, so I had to really concentrate on throwing this bag a little harder. And then what I found sometimes when I was trying to collect one harder, if I was a little bit off, I was throwing it off the back of the board, right? Because I was trying to throw it hard because I wanted to collect and take them both in. So there is a little downside to that. 
But if, like I said, again, if you're playing on faster boards, that's not an issue. You, yeah, this will slide just fine on its own. If you're a, naturally a harder thrower, you're gonna be used to that. You don't have to adjust. So that's where I think this really stands out. Um, it's also a great bag for maneuverability. You can throw cuts with this. I honestly, typically flat disc fill bags, I struggle with flopping rolling. This bag was a breeze to flop and roll. One of the easier bags I've thrown, especially with that flat disc fill. So it, you don't have to worry about that bead fill, that bouncy fill, it's that flat disc fill. Now I did find this board, this bag, this bag did bounce a little and more so because when it hit when it hits on the board the carpet's sticking but it's still wanting to move so it's kind of it's kind of walking up the board more than just sliding sometimes which gives it that ability to want to get up and roll or flop over bags so all in all as far if, if you are a again a dirty board player a dirty you like to dirty the boards up you like to cause a lot of havoc on the boards this is a great option for you, especially if you like to roll and flop bags. This this will be so easy for you. If you're looking to roll and flop bags, this is also a great option to, to, to learn because it didn't take much for me to throw those rolls and flops. It really wants to do that naturally. So it, it's really easy for that. Great for cut shots. It's just great for all around maneuverability, for getting creative. Like I said, I, I, what I found when I was throwing this bag, what I wanted to do was just throw, you know, throw first two bags on there as blockers, just clog up the hole up. Third bag, either roll it, maybe roll it over, maybe maybe do a, a push and replace, and then the fourth bag, try to clean them both up and get all four in, or just get three in and get my 10 points, or maybe just throw my fourth bag over as an air mail, take my eight and, and let my opponent make mistakes trying to go around them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's I mean, if you wanna throw these bags in, you can throw them harder and you can run four bags in the hole. I mean, I was able to do this well. So all in all, it, it's, it's it's not a bag, this is not a bag that's that everyone's gonna love, right? If, if you're if you don't like sticky bags, if you're a fast bag thrower, this is not for you. But Buffalo has plenty of fast bag options, you know, the the crush, the fault X, the ambush. Um, I think they're if you're looking for a carpet bag on the fast side, I think it's the splash they have. I haven't reviewed that yet. I believe that's a faster carpet bag. So Buffalo has the options for you. But if you are a carpet bag thrower, you like playing the dirty style game, you're a hard thrower, you play on fast boards, this is a great option. Check them out. Um, I, I think this will be a, a bag that you will love. I really enjoy throwing it. It's one that I'm going to try to keep in my rotation for those special situations because I think I will enjoy this in, 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 um, the more I throw it. For, avail for availability, Buffalo's done a great job keeping bags stopped. They're pretty much almost always in stock and they have multiple different colorways. I mentioned before, they've got different colors on these. Um, they are they retail for 125 for a set of four, which is the higher end, but you're getting a high quality bag. So I, I don't mind paying that price for a great high quality bag. However, right now I just looked them up and they're on sale for $99 for a set of four, which is a great price. And, and Buffalo does run quite a few sales on their on their boards or on their bags. So if you're looking for a set and you don't see it on sale, wait a few days, check, keep checking back. They'll probably have one run at some point in time, especially as they release new designs, new colorways. A lot of times the older ones, they'll reduce the price on to move out the old inventory. But even if you have to pay full price, $125 for a set, they're well worth that. I love these bags as always. I think Buffalo's doing a great job. I love what they're doing. And this is definitely a bag that if you fall in one of those categories I mentioned, um, I think you need to pick a setup. I think you're gonna like it as much as I do. So if you have thrown these as well, drop a comment down. Let me know what you think about them. I'd love to hear your opinions on on the, the on what you like or don't like about that. Because I know sometimes I'm always giving my opinions, but I love hearing your feedback as well. So I appreciate you guys so much for the support and I thank you so much for watching.